Hello there, I'm Sunshine Sanase, and I'm here to talk about Schutz's theory of interpersonal needs, or as we like to call it, FIRO, Fundamental Interpersonal Relations Orientation. Every individual has a different way of communicating with one another. Schutz's theory studies upon the human behavior towards their needs and how they manage to communicate because of it. This is where Schutz puts his idea of average human needs into three basic groups. Inclusion, control, and affection. These basic needs happen in our life every time. And what better way to explain these needs when actually observing them through a victim, I mean subject. As you can see, I have decided to observe a wild animal in its natural habitat. Just go along with it. Here we see the first moments of inclusion. Inclusion is when a person has the need to feel important, the need to matter so that others will care about that certain individual. They tend to seek attention and interaction with others becoming a distinct person. This usually happens when the group start to form it and the person to the inclusion will want to become part of the group. However, there are others who have a low inclusion, which means that they are introverted spending most of their time avoiding attention at the risk of being ignored. These people usually have a feeling of not being important, worthless, and may tend to think to be pessimistic. They may think things like, I'm not important. No one wants me. They'll ignore me if I try. Well, let's just hope that he'll get over his bad case of rejectionist thought. In this part, we are going to observe the behavior of control. Control refers to the feelings of competence and being seen as a person who is able to cope with the world. He deals with power, authority, and influence with a want to dominate over others. When it comes to control, everything is about winning. If Matthew's inclusion is about belonging, then it's more likely that he'll be doing nothing but wanting to win, to attain his attention, regardless of the kind of competition he partakes in. But remember, that control means power and authority. John is also able to attain the need for control, the need to win even without being accepted into a group. In John's case, he would have the desire to be controlled, have his responsibilities lifted. Affection deals with a close emotional feeling towards another person and can only be present between two people. As you can see, our subject is in a lonesome position. He looks as if he wishes to receive and entertain the feelings of his inclusion. When affection is present, inclusion and control are able to keep itself to a bare minimum. Matthew would have all the attention he needed if he were to be in a relationship, therefore fulfilling his inclusion. Maybe the sense of control wouldn't disappear quite quickly in a relationship, but even so, the sense of gaining authority would lessen in the phase of a human relationship, the one to do nothing but to please a person with the utmost affection. And there you have it, folks. Now then, 
How about we all take a quick recap, shall we? Roll that tape. Inclusion is about importance. Control is about winning. And affection is about interpersonal relationships. Again, I'm Sunshine Sonose, and this is Shoot's Theory of Interpersonal Needs. Thank you, and good night. According to Wikipedia, William Schutz was an American psychologist who was born on December 19, 1925 in Chicago, Illinois, and had died on November 9, 2002 in Moore Beach, California. Schutz practiced at the Esalen Institute in the 1960s. He later became president of the Beacon WSA International. He received his Ph.D. from UCLA. In the 1950s, he was part of the peer group at the University of Chicago's Counseling Center that included Carl Rogers, Thomas Gordon, Abraham Maslow, and Alias Porter. He taught at Tufts University, Harvard University, University of California, Berkeley, and Albert Einstein College of Medicine, and was the chairman of Holistic Studies Department at the Antioch University until 1983. William Schutz released more than 10 books and a lot of writings. His work was influenced by Alexander Lowen, Ida Pauline Rolf, and Moe Feldenkrais. As a body therapist, he did a lot of encounter group workshops and focused on illnesses and how to heal them by going on new ways and understanding the causes of particular illnesses and developing alternate body-centered ways of how they can be cured. In his books, Profound Simplicity, and the truth option, he focuses on that issue. He successfully gave new impulses to body therapy and integrated the values of truth, choice, freedom, self, responsibility, self-esteem, self-regard, and honesty as a basic principle to his approach. This has been brought to you by Cherry Red Productions.